this video, I'll show you some of the rare chicken breeds that you might not see as commonly as other breeds. I'll share with you some interesting and fun facts about the breeds and even share some of the breeders that I've come across and I can get you information on how you can contact them if you're interested in getting some of these birds in your own flock. Now I've had about 14 to 16 different chicken breeds over the years that I've had chickens. I don't really have any right now that I would say are rare, except maybe this Bantam Dominique here. For those of you that are new with chicken keeping, a Bantam is a smaller version. Right next to her is a standard size Heritage Rhode Island Red. So you can definitely see a good size comparison there. I really like my Bantam Dominique. She has a great personality, really hardy bird. Kind of funny because out of all my chickens, this is my smallest one and she's actually the loudest one. So that's my Bantam Dominique, tiny, tiny chicken. Now I'll share with you some of the other interesting rare breed chickens. This breed is called the Swedish Flower. These birds are from Adam Tisnick. He's in Big Flats, Wisconsin. This breed was close to extinction in the 1970s, but is now making a comeback. It's a very robust bird and very cold hardy. Adam also has Wyandots, Orpingtons, and more. This is a black Langshan, originated in China, very active and docile. They have slightly feathered feet and were once considered to be threatened, but again are becoming more common. This is the Iam Samani. These two are rare, but they are becoming more common also. It's an all-black bird, even the tongue is black, and the organs and bones appear black as well. A very well-mannered bird. These are Gabe Olsons from Cameron, Wisconsin. I can get you in touch with any of these breeders if you're interested in these birds. The next breed is called a Death Layer. And when I first heard of this, I thought, oh my gosh, are these birds really mean? Why are they called that? They were originated in Germany, and it's thought that they are called that because the hens lay so many eggs even up until they die. They have iridescent greens and blues in the tail and are a very pretty breed of bird. This next breed is called a Coronation Sussex. You might know the speckled Sus Sussex, but these are a less common breed. They're curious and natured, very docile, and are a threatened breed. This is a Creole Orpington. Orpingtons are common and are well liked by chicken keepers. But the Creole and this, the lemon cuckoo, aren't as common of colored birds. They're docile, affectionate, cold hardy, and good broody mothers. This is the rooster of the lemon cuckoo. These are Deborah Summer, bir Summer's birds and she is located in Price County. This is an Egyptian Fayumi. They are very, very disease resistant and even resistant to certain types of bacterial infections. A very, very hardy bird. Very pretty bird, again with a little bit of iridescence in the tail. Those were Linnae Cosinas. She also has Cuckoo Silkies. Silkies are common, but the cuckoo is not as common. It's a striped version of the silky. She also has showgirl silkies, similar to a turkin breed of chicken, with a lack of feathers on the neck. Very, very cute bird. I love silkies. They're so well-mannered, good around children. Kids could just pick them up and carry them around. Very nice bird. Next up is the shamo. These are owned by a friend of mine named Michael. Now these are considered to be a fighting bird. They can actually start fighting as chicks, 
So if you're going to keep these birds, it's very, very important that you keep them separated, especially the males. Now Michael came across an incident where two of his roosters were actually fighting so bad that one of them had damage to the beak, and Michael created a prosthetic beak and saved the bird's life. If you ever have a situation like that, and you need to repair a bird's beak, please don't try it at home yourself. If you need Michael's contact information, I can get you in touch with him to help you out. I once also had a fighting breed of bird called the Phoenix. This was the rooster that I had. I miss him. He was absolutely wonderful. He was good around my birds. He was not aggressive. And though he did start to go after my daughter a little bit, so I had to rehome him, but I miss him. I, he was good with me. I could pick him up and carry him around. Sometimes these birds get attached to a certain person. Thank you so much for watching. This is a project that I would like to do again in the f future. If you would like any of the contact information from the breeders featured, just email me or comment below.